Hello traders out there in trader land and welcome to the new week. It's Monday, July 25th, 2011 and the markets are bearish. Here we are looking at the Dow down 0.7%, the SP down 0.56%, NASDAQ down the same 0.56%. Small caps taking the biggest hit down 1.24%. Banks down vix up over 10 percent that is a huge spike we're up over 19 on the vix gold up silver up us dollar slightly down the dollar down the market's down crude oil down 0.6 percent transportation index doing better than the dow however overall markets bearish with some fear out there tomorrow at 10 a.m eastern standard time a half hour after the markets open we will have consumer confidence coming out and something tells me that's just not going to be too great but i don't know we'll see whatever the news is and we'll play it when it happens and here we are looking at the s p daily we remain in this big ginormous symmetrical triangle we run we get a double bottom we run up, 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 hit that trend line, down, 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 down. Hammer-like type formation at the rising 20-day moving average, the falling 50-day moving average, and boom, back up, boom, again. At this moment, we get this hammer, which is called a hanging man. Right after the hanging man, we get a lower high, lower low. We are pivoting. So right now, this is the best chance it's had to start heading right back down. If so, I have a trend line in green here. We have a higher swing high. If it does drop, we will have a lower swing high. So this huge symmetrical triangle could very easily, let me copy this, could very easily pinch yet again right there. Do you see this? So we have the big blue trend lines, and then we have even more pinching taking place. Remember, and I got this from Dell, breakout trader, from those who've been with us a long time who helped me mentor this class this weekend. If you pinch a wet watermelon seed, the harder you pitch it, the farther the thing will pop. And we are getting pinched in a big, big way. You can see this. Look at this huge pinch, 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 pinch. I'm looking for a significant movement to the upside or down. It does not surprise me that we have VIX moving higher or lower and or higher at this moment. I do see volatility wanting to start increasing here soon. But we'll call it like we see it. If it does make a move to the upside, I will certainly want to be bullish in that environment. And if it does crash down, I'd want to be bearish. However, it's got a long way to go before it breaks down to these trend lines that I have drawn here. Netflix missed earnings down right now at this very minute. Baidu hit earnings and they are up. Rule of thumb is never hold over earnings. I had both Netflix and Baidu going into the close. I did sell Baidu or I'm sorry, I sold Netflix before the close. Hey, and knock on wood, I held Baidu, and that is paying off for me. And the Goldman Sachs trade that I'm in is also doing uh, fairly well. So there you have it. You get the very best of technical analysis and daily market commentary from right here at Grok Trade. My name is Des Woodruff, and I appreciate you sharing us with your trading friends.